Hey, what's going on, y'all? JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at my CQB Part 2 environment. A lot of people still don't believe that that video I uploaded was rendered in a game engine. So I don't know what else to do to prove it, um, except for making this video right here. So we are actually in the editor right now. I am WASDing in here. And um, yeah, so we're just gonna go through this. So you can see I can move stuff around because these are all static meshes um, that I can move around because it's not real life. I live in Las Vegas, dude. We don't have this kind of forest. I uh, have some wall in here. And like I said in my comments, the weakest point of this entire demonstration was really the wall because it's missing displacement. And what's cool about this is I can actually switch this over to path tracing so you can see what that looks like right off the bat. So if I go right here, path trace, boom. And this wall, this concrete should not be this flat. If this was real life, and I kept telling people this on the channel, on the YouTube video, like it shouldn't be flat like that, man. But it is because it's not real. So here we go. We're just going to go through kind of like the same path that we went to because everything else is not dressed properly. I don't dress the entire level whenever I'm doing these. It just doesn't make sense for me to prop everything, like place prop on places where I'm not going to go to. All right. So right now we're at high setting. So here we go. We're getting about 88 frames per second. And I'll press escape here so you can see it better. Get about 100, 870. Again, the, uh, 107, 18. Um, this is really running in real time, 120 right now. And that's one of the things that I was seeing in the comments is like, yo, we're never gonna see this graphics in 20 years. But dude, I kept telling people, I was like, you are a lot closer than you think. I'm not running any DLSS 3.5 or this no or nothing too. This is really raw power of the RTX 4090. All right, so that's kind of cool, but let's go to cinematics now because obviously that's what I use Whenever I render my videos, I don't render in high settings. And we're getting about 65, 7, 67 frames per second right now. And again, we're kind of just going to go through that route that I went with with, with, with the video. And I just kind of like did my pie slice in here. And I just kind of went like that. But yeah, this is everything pretty much the same exact level. Somebody said I changed the models in one of the videos. I'm like, bro, it's the same exact thing. Like legit, really same exact thing. So yeah, here we go. It's pretty cool. Got some nice forest in here. And that's kind of one of the things that I'm kind of working on this year is like environment prop placing. You know, like just thinking about what a, a scene like this would look like. And obviously, some of these assets are really still game assets. They're not even like high quality. They're still very, very, very video game looking. Um, so I didn't even use Quixel Mega Scans in this demonstration here. Not that I know of. These are all game assets. I mean, they look great, but they can still look better. I think this second cut was about this camera right here. I mean, look at these boxes. These boxes are like, they just don't look that good. Here we go. Walking in. Get about get about 54, 55. Because that's ma mainly because I have this photo scan car right here that I added in there just, you know, to add a little bit. Because if I hide that, it looks kind of flat, but it, it's an abandoned place. You should have a lot of crap laying around. But at the same time, that is pretty high poly photo scan car. But yeah, we went in here and, you know, we looked at it like this. Again, I put some scatter on the ground, a little bit trashy. And then we go back out. All right. And if you look closely, I didn't even set dress. <laughs> look where it kind of cuts off. It just cuts off like right here where the camera was. So, yep, not even set dress, not even. There's no ground. There's all bare. And then the character goes to this door, right? So we have this door right here. Again, this is really flat. Look how flat this is. This is flatter than my car's tires. Look at that. There's not, not this, there's no displacement on that, but eventually that will happen. And um, we'll flip it over to path tracing because people think like, oh, James Films, man, your videos are so good. What settings do you use? Dude, I don't, it's path tracing. 
like like you just saw that. I just flipped it on and and obviously you get a no ratio and lighting ratios and stuff like that. Focus on that. Don't focus so much on settings. Render settings can only take you so much. You need to focus on lighting. What makes a believable lighting scenario? Because as you can see right here, I just flip it on and it looks photorealistic. Obviously, I'm getting 15 frames per second, but that's just path tracing for you. So yeah, there's no hidden settings. I mean, you're looking at it right now. This looks like the video. This looks exactly just like the video, obviously with more noise because of the path trace. So if I go right here, boom, right? We're getting more bounces in the light, so it gets a little bit brighter, but don't get bogged down on settings. Focus on the lighting, all right? Play around with shadows because that's how you get photorealism, all right? So we have this here. We have the uh, chair right here. We have the AK right there, and we have the sack. By the way, if you are a YouTube member of my channel, I did um, provide this for y'all to download. This sack right here looks pretty good. And we have the chair right there. I think that might be Quixel Megascan. Probably the only thing that's Quixel Megascans in here. But yeah, that's just pretty much a little tour. I just am getting tired of people just asking and telling me, oh, this is real life. Uh, so I was like, all right, there's only one way to kind of like show that is really not real. So here you go. If I go to a path tracing right here before I go, I mean, it, it looks incredible. And, and again, I really want Epic Games to really work on the multi-GPU rendering on path trace. Because if I have, say, an 8 times RTX 6000 E that's like I've used in NVIDIA Omniverse and Blender, the render times are going to decrease dramatically. That's pretty much it. Until then, we're going to be stuck with one GPU rendering in Unreal Engine. Um, so yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.